Congregational singing is the only thing we're required to do in the New Testament uh, with music. We're not required to play any instruments. We're not required to be quiet and listen to somebody sing a solo. The only thing the New Testament requires us to do is to sing together. Uh, and that's what we do when we gather. We speak the truth about God set to singable music. We rejoice in the gospel. We remind each other of these truths. We pray all in song. And uh, in our church, we do it with very little accompaniment so that the voices of the people singing are prominent and the words are clear. And I can tell you the effect on my own soul is electrifying. And uh, it's, it's a wonderful tool of building up the church. And I'm sorry that most pastors, I think, have kind of ceded this to the music guy and the 20% of their church who volunteer to do the sound or play an instrument or be on the ensemble or on soloist or choir. Actually, you would serve those 20% and the other 80% a lot better if you would kind of downplay the music from the front and increase whatever will enhance the singing of the congregation. So if you can take your organ or your band and cut down their volume by about 80% and then make sure that the words, and if you can even do it, print the music. Uh, let the 10% of the people in the congregation that can read music sing those parts. And you might be surprised how other people who never learn how to read music will start joining in with their parts and learning how to do that. And the whole thing just has a profound effect and it's encouraging. I got the longest, most elegant letter from a guy in his mid-twenties uh, a few years ago who I didn't know. He's a member of our church, new member of our church. He sends me this like three-page single-space letter about how much he loved the music at our church, which like, this is a guy who's in his mid-twenties. He'd never been in a church with this kind of music. It was not his kind of home music he was used to, but that's one of the things he loved about it. He associated it with the gospel, with the Lord. He found himself singing it during the week. His kids began to sing it as, as they started to grow up, and he love, was loving seeing his little toddlers hearing these songs and learning them. So uh, I'm, I'm encouraged to think that congregational singing is not only commanded in the New Testament, but it's super good food for your local church. And the person who needs to know that and teach that is the person who often ignores it. That would be the pastor.